Check it out, kid. These little thingies. He's a little arrow squid. He's got a hold of my jig. That's the second one I've caught. The first one I put back. But if he's that desperate to come home with me, he can. He's going to become our snapper bait. Mark's coming to make sure I don't put it back with the jig like I did last time, aren't you, Mark? <laughs> We're out here to catch some snapper bait. Might as well keep a little one. One little one. So that's two to none. He's not even hooked, he's just hanging on to it. Oh, you little... I caught the money shot of water right on the side of the face. But there you go, folks. Little tiny arrow squid in the bag. He's going to go out as a live bait. He's crawling along the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Don't know if you guys can see him in there, but there he is. Little tiny little one. Here comes Mark. Say hello, Mark. See, look. That's how small they are. Where is it? Is it it's an arrow squid. Yeah, but where is it? You told me you caught a squid. What's going on? Yeah, I caught, I caught a little one. Oh. oh, caught, that... oh that's Austin's one. <laughs> <laughs> where is Austin? I don't know. Where'd you leave him? I don't know. He doesn't want to come. He doesn't like fishing. Nah, got too hard for him. Too many banjos. Yeah, he's busy catching crabs. <laughs> he does live in Frankston. <laughs> Crab capital. Should really tell him to stop going to that bar, mate. <laughs> we got a squid. Is it a calamari this time? Thanks, Mark. We need you a lot. Is it a, yeah, it's a colour. It's a Kala. Kala Mari. Yeah, it's a snapper, bait. snapper bait, mate. Yeah. There. Yep. No, I was giving it the jig jig on the bottom. Mark, that's a million dollars in the Mulloway shop. Million dollar bill. Or as they call it, Megatron. And they say you can't catch it with weed on. Do you want to get a photo of this one in my hand? <laughs> there we are guys we'll put him in with a little angry bugger there we go three squid to the skipper hopefully one to the mark very soon hey mr mark we're both recording mark squid hopefully i'll oh. get one too all right it feels pretty small actually, but hey, a bait's a bait. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts with a tiny one. Is it, is it a squid? Yeah. It is a squid. It's a bigger arrow, is it? Oh no, it's another yeah, colour. Calamari. Gently. Straight up, straight on. Oh, I reckon that's bigger than yours, just quietly. Yeah, mine's a million dollar bill though. Not going to say anything guys, but Mark's a prick. Hey, I'm on the board. Yeah, after my three. And I even let one go to be fair to you. So you should let your first one go too. No, nah, I'm not going to let my first one nah, go. No, not the colour. Right, I'll allow it. I'll allow it, folks. For everyone playing along at home, it will, uh, our next snapper series that we're going to film. This will turn into a nice bait for a snapper a bit further out there in the port. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So what we're actually doing is we're out trying to get some bait for our snapper pursuit series. We're at Mornington right now, having a flick around, getting some some squid. So there he is over there. Probably sending photos to Austin going, look, Dad caught a squid. Just quietly. But yeah, we're just out here collecting a bit of bait for some upcoming trips for myself. Because uh, young Mark's got an operation coming up in about, what, six days? Four days. Four days. And then he's off for six weeks. 
and in those six weeks, hopefully I can find the snapper and fire him up to recover in four weeks, not six. But we'll see. Again? No, nah, he's dropped it. Bastard. Where? Point. Hand. Straight out. Straight yeah. towards the pole. Yep. That first pole? Yeah, yep, that one there. And how long do you let that sink for? About there? Yeah. How long do you let it sink for? Like, like you had the uni before. Oh. Hope you're on me there. This is my line. And he grabbed it on the drop or as you were working it? Uh, just as I started working it. And he pulled harder too. Might have been <sighs> oh. Yep. You on? Yeah. Is he pulling? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on. We're both on. I guess some would say he pulls like a 16 year old boy in his bedroom. <laughs> I was telling someone about that the other day, actually, and then I said, he was watching it with his son, and he turns around and goes, Dad, what does that mean? <laughs> now that he's 14, he's gone, Dad, I know what that means. <laughs> he feels a bit a bit heavier, but he's not heavier, heavier. Who's behind us? I can hear a car. I need your light, man. I need your light. He's a bit better. And I've hooked him better, too. Best one of the day. What do you reckon? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh bro. <laughs> you go, bro. I need your oh. oh, he got me good all over my back. That's that's a couple of baits in that one. You're the moment. Got him back. Uh, uh. Oh, God, got me again. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm showing the camera and it's fucking squirting me again. Oh, oh, God. We're a couple of lovely people. There's going to be a beep in there. <laughs> oh, I'm going pee hopping. I get this message saying I'm going pee hopping. Oh, he's got me a third time. <laughs> oh. oh, no wonder I'm having trouble. My line was wrapped around my bloody shaft. Nothing worse than line wrapped around your shaft, bro. I oh, know, bro. <laughs> he got me. He got me three times. Look, he's even got me rod my hand. And then my other hand when I was putting him away. Oh. I the load on my back. <laughs> oh, he was aiming for your face, mate. <laughs> Shane's not even here either. <laughs> oh, where is old Shane anyway? Probably with Austin. Probably with Austin, catching crabs. We did call him to invite him, didn't we? Austin? No. Oh, Shane. Austin. Yeah, but he didn't answer the phone. Yeah. It's all right. I don't like him anyway. He caught my fish. <laughs> Sound familiar? Shut up. I said good night. He's catching up, folks. I don't know. There's not much on this. It'd be one of those tiny ones. Good, like it's got. tiny, bro. But no, hey, it might even get behind you, I think. I don't know. It might, does it come? It might be weed. No, I can see something behind it. It's got fins. It's by a candle. Oh. It's a squid. Oh, man. Oh, by a candle, dude. <sighs> get that up. You had to be real careful. Oh, bro. Oh, there he goes. He's ink. Gentle. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Oh. Austin's fish. I don't know for everyone playing at home, if you can see that out there, I'm not sure, but little banjo. If Austin was here, he'd be catching that for sure. Bob's pet. Mornington's catch. How good. Mine, Mark's, mine, mine. And this little bastard here decided to have a go. You probably can't see there, but right there, he bit me and my whole finger went numb for about half an hour. Little arrow squid. Be careful, just because he's little doesn't mean he doesn't punk, pack a punch.
Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification as well to be notified when we post our next video or our next episode. And please hit the like button. Share it around with people that you might think will enjoy this too.